everybody, welcome again to Tackle Obesity. Today, new workout for you. We're going to hit, hit the whole body, some new exercises as well, and we're going to try and get some nice big movements, help improve again your mobility and your flexibility as we do some stretches throughout and at the end too. Make sure you've got your water or even a cup of tea if you like to hand because you will need some fluids during the session. We're going to start off not too difficult, just go down to your knees to begin with and I'm going to do a nice little raise up to the top. So from there, we're going to tap the knees and a nice reach up with your arms. So we're going to focus on the breathing first of all. So I want to take a nice deep breath in when you're on your knees and then as you exhale, raise up to the top for me. So take a nice deep breath in and out as you reach to the top. So just go into the knees and up to the top. So my feet are hip width apart. As I reach all the way up to the top, I'm trying to keep my body nice and straight. Same with as I go down as well. My back is nice and straight. I'm gonna show you now this way as well. So there you go, you can see my back's nice and straight. And as I reach up to the top. Now as we continue to do this exercise, I'd like you to raise up, if you can, onto your toes at the top. So we're going the same action, but we've just increased the intensity just a little more. The movement has become a lot bigger. So the same on the way down, and a nice big reach up at the top, and of course onto the toes as well. So we've done a good number of that straight away, so you should already feel that your body's starting to lengthen there as you do this move. We're hitting everything. We've got your legs as a little knee bend, so a mini squat, effectively. Big reach up with the arms, and of course, getting the lower part of the legs in when you're going up onto the toes. Let's do one more, let's make it the biggest you can. So down to your knees, big reach up at the top. Fantastic start. From there then, we're gonna move on and work a slightly different angle. So we're gonna come into what's called a wood chop. So I'm gonna get you to place your hands together. Again, hip feet just a little bit wider actually than hip width apart. Take it onto your hip and reach round. So hip and round. So we're going up as a nice diagonal movement all the way up and across. Okay, so we're gonna do three more this way. As I'm turning, going into the wood chop, I'm pivoting on my right foot. So I'm going up towards the left, I'm pivoting on my right foot. Let's do one more for luck. There you go. So we're going to change sides. So hands together again, goes onto the other hip, and up and across to the other side. So same with numbers, I said this on the first session, hopefully that's going really, really well for you and hopefully actually you'll find it quite easy now. It's been a couple of weeks because I did a chair-based one in between, so that's enough time for you to get used to those first block of exercises that I gave you. So today's session is a bit harder, but the same numbers will apply. So we're hitting around 8, 10, 12, Sometimes you can obviously progress and do a little bit more along the way, but we'll come into those ones as we continue with these workouts. Wood chops are fantastic to not only get that mobility across the back and through the abdominals, but they really are hitting your external obliques as well. So you really reach around as you do. You can imagine it like a golf swing um, otherwise, instead of a wood chop if you prefer. But they are really good movement. We're gonna try another eight each side, and then we'll move on, try and get your arms working a little more as well. So same applies, make sure your feet are nicely positioned forward, and your, head, your feet are just slightly wider than the hip width apart. We're gonna go from the hip again, and up and across to the side. So that nice little pivot again, through on the right foot as you're reaching up to the left. Maintain that breathing throughout. Keep that nice control. So nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, change sides. So start again from the hip, reaching up and across. 
up and across. You're doing great so far. You should be starting to feel that a little bit more now. Like I say, through the abdom abdominals and through and across your back. That's a good feeling. It's not, it shouldn't be a discomfort. It should be a, I can feel my muscles working type feeling. Let's do one more. And then have a little rest there. Very, very nice so far actually. So yeah, you may well be starting to feel it just around here. That's completely normal. That does mean actually that you, you have pushed a nice big movement through there, which is exactly what we're after. So the more you can do that, the better it will be. Again, the quicker you're going to start seeing results. Just be careful, obviously, throughout. If anything feels a little bit too much, I've said this before, then just, just calm it down, just stop. Have a few rests here and there as well. That's absolutely fine. Please remember, I'm giving you these exercises and these workouts, yes, for your benefit, but you have to do them to what fits your abilities. So if you feel that half of what we've just done is enough for you, then that's absolutely fine. Don't feel you have to over push it. Okay, please remember that. We're going to move on to the arms next then. So hip, feet are hip width apart again. And we're just going to push the arms forward and then bring them back. So push, bring them back. Now the reason why we're doing this is we're going to start getting your chest muscles working. So you should actually feel a nice little squeeze right through your pectoris here. Squeeze as you push. Okay, make sure you are thinking about the muscles that you're trying to work. I'll tell you which one as we're going along. But you focus as much as you can on those muscles and you should feel them. So we're getting a bit through the arms now as well. A bit of the front of the shoulders are coming in too. And now we're going to add a little bit more. Hopefully that doesn't feel too bad. But what we're going to do now is add a step with the push. Okay, so change legs each time you do it. I'm literally just stepping forward. I've got a slight bend in my front leg as I step. So very similar to a lunge, but we're not going down. We're keeping our legs nice and straight at the back. The heels just coming off the floor slightly, just naturally allow the step to happen. For what's happening with the arms, that's exactly the same as what we were doing before. We'll do one more. So we've just added a little bit more. That's all we've done. So by now, actually, your heart rate should be feeling a little bit faster. Should be hearing that. There's the dog again. Arlo's running around. <laughs> He's enjoying the sunshine and everything else today. It's quite a nice day for a middle of November. Um, you should be definitely starting to feel that you, you are working now. So just relax into it. Nice deep breaths as you go. Okay, really do keep the control of that as much as you can. We're going to move on to a bit of the legs, actually. So next up... I just want you to step. You might hear that little tap, tap. That's my toes. My toes on the floor, tap, tap. So I'm just extending the leg, one after the other, as you can see, out to the side. And I'm literally just tapping that with the toes. So I'm not putting any weight through that leg where I'm moving side to side. I'm just keeping that nice and still and just allowing the body weight to stay right center line and just move the leg out to the side. So this will start to work a little bit for your buttocks, so through the glute muscles. Um, also, around the outer thigh as well. So your abductors are gonna start coming into play at, at the same time, which is great. Different muscle to work there, really. Now, as we're doing this, we're gonna add a bit of an arm movement. So we go across, across. You can see we're doing a bit more today, can't you? So we're going to step, push across, step, push across. So we've got that nice big length all the way through. And now with the arm as well, coming all the way along, the legs are doing exactly the same thing. Now by now, you may be thinking, okay, when are we going to stop? As you can see, it's one of those exercises. We're doing a few more reps. It's absolutely fine. So we'll add more repetitions to exercises like this, because we can. So you're alternating your way through them. Okay, take a little break there. Fantastic job. So have a little pause just for a moment. Have a quick drink of water. 
Now we're going to carry on and move into, so I had to let the dog out then, he was starting to, uh, to cry at the door. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is, is another full body workout and they're called swings. So we are literally going to allow a nice big swinging movement, again for our whole body. So pop your hands together, your legs are now a little bit wider again, so wider than hip width, and you're just going to go down through the legs, up above your head as you swing. So down, up, down, and up, down, and up. Okay, so just keep going, and we'll see if we can do another three. And up, good. Just keep control of that breathing again. And relax. Brilliant. We're going to do another set of those in just a minute. Again, have a quick break if you need to. Quick drink of water is absolutely fine. With that exercise, as I say, it's a full body. It is. So you're getting your legs working. A little bit through the glutes there as well. Also, your tummy. So you've got a little bit of a feeling, hopefully, through your abdominals. And he's being very needy today, I do apologise folks. So through your abdominals and also your lower back. That again is a good feeling, it should be a good feeling that it's working, it's working those muscles, okay, that's exactly what we're after. Let's do it again then. So hands back together, legs a little bit wider than hip width apart, and away we go, through the legs, up above the head. If you find this movement quite difficult, then of course don't go quite as big, okay? You can shorten the movement if you need to, that's not a problem. Again, remember, it's, it's on you, it's what you feel comfortable enough to do, providing you're obviously having a bit of a workout. Okay, let's try a bit bigger again if you can. So you're just following the arms, so you're mostly working through the legs. Because you're getting that nice little bend in the knees as you come down. And then obviously you straighten them back up at the top. Brilliant. Okay, that's a bit of a harder exercise to be honest. But a very, very good one to practice. So it does cover a lot of muscle groups within the body as I've mentioned. You should again feel that little increase in your heart rate as well. Brilliant. Have a little pause. Again, some water if you need to. And then we'll move on. We're going to recap, actually, on the next couple of exercises. So when you feel ready to, come back in and join me. But we're going to start with our high knees. So that effectively is your marching on the spot, but just getting a bit higher through the legs. So as much as you can, raise your knees up. If by now your legs are saying, nope, I don't want to do any more, then that's absolutely fine. Just take it a little bit steadier. Okay, you can of course take, tone it down just a bit more. If you're feeling okay with it, then absolutely try and build those knees up. Bring them up as high as you can towards your chest. It's another one of those exercises where you can do a good number of repetitions with. Already we've done a quite a few here. Okay, again, the choice is yours. You can alternate a little bit as well. Um, mix it up is what I'm trying to say. So small, big, small, big. The choice is yours. It's one of those exercises where you can play about with them. We're gonna move into another one that's a recap and that's your heel flicks. Let me show you side on this time. So you're just kicking the legs back. So you have that nice little flick Bend those knees back towards, as you can see my hands here, towards your bottom. If the movement again is a little bit too much, just tone it down. You don't have to get towards your hands, that's just your target. So an absolute brilliant exercise to work through your hamstrings. That's right at the top of the back of the leg. A very good muscle to try and isolate as well, to keep you nice and strong. You want to get your muscles in your legs as strong as possible, really, just so you can keep keep doing those everyday activities. So like walking, using stairs, getting in and out of cars or chairs, anything like that. Let's make it all a bit easier with getting your legs that bit stronger. Those two exercises, like I say, were a recap of last time. Also, the one coming next is as well. 
After that, we'll start to tone down a little bit and of course have a nice stretch off as we get nearer towards the end. So you're doing brilliantly already. Please remember these workouts are only short. If you feel that you can do obviously more with them, then we'll try and kick that up a little bit. We'll try and do more. Um, you can add on more repetitions. You can do a whole repeat of it if you, if you feel you can. The more you do, the better. Just allow that little rest in between and that's all you need. Let's have a quick go at these ones again and then we'll move on to your arm exercise. So if we go back into our high knees now, Okay, you can count if you want to, if sometimes that helps people. You can count your way up to 20 or 30 if you're feeling like you can. Um, alternatively, you could put a timer on. You can say, I'm going to do this for 30 seconds or a minute. Otherwise, just do as and when you feel ready to change. That's sometimes what I do with things like this as well. So I'm feeling my legs a little bit now. So I'm going to do my last couple. And I'm going to change it straight back into my heel flicks or my kickbacks. Lovely, we're doing well. Let's see if we can do just a little bit more. Really try and squeeze through that hamstring now. So right at the back, top of the leg. Four, four, three, two, one. Excellent. So now we're going to come back to centre. So in, in, get yourself into that position again, a neutral spine position actually, which we talked about right at our first session. So holding your tummy in, legs, feet, hip width apart, and just do a nice big circle up and round with your arms. Just throughout this exercise, just get that nice deep breath. In through your nose, nice control, out through your mouth. You can slow it down a bit if you need to. Have a little change of direction. Last one. And relax. Brilliant job, absolutely brilliant. So we're gonna leave it there in terms of all the exercises that we're doing today, but we're gonna just have a nice stretch off now. So today we'll start with our upper body. So if you can place your hands onto the small of your back to start with, make sure your body's nice and tall. So we're keeping a good posture. This one helps with posture as it opens up your chest, which you might start to be remembering now. So just trying to squeeze your elbows together at the back and hopefully you can feel that stretch right away across your chest and the front of your shoulders. From there bring your hands together and do a nice big stretch to the front. So we're now pulling the arms away from us. That will open up through your upper back and across the back of your shoulders. Okay also very important an area that can get quite tight for many different reasons, it could be stress related, just the tension generally that we build up through our bodies, either from the cold, um, or if you're sleeping, sort of different pillows or mattresses or in the sofa, anything actually can easily create tension in this area. So stretching it out as much as you can is very, very important. Massage is also another thing that can help. So if you do find that you struggle quite a bit with this area, go treat yourself to a massage if you can. Um, we'll talk more about things like that as we continue down the line with these workouts, as we get a bit more in depth with things as well. Um, but just things to bear in mind. Let's really isolate the shoulders now. So a big push forward with one arm, bring it across your body, and then just allow the other arm to come underneath and pull it in. So you should now feel that stretch across the shoulder, still slightly round the back, but more so across the shoulder. Okay, let's change over, that's a big reach forward, across, bring the other arm in and hold. Really try your best to stay nice and tall with these stretches. If any of them feel a bit uh, uncomfortable, then reduce them, reduce the movement. Um, if they're too much altogether, then, then please don't do them. 
like I say, there are always different ones that we can do. There are other stretches. If you have any questions about anything or anything particularly you do find hard and you're not sure why, send me a message. Have a write a comment on the um, workouts on my channel. That's absolutely fine. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions and help you. From there, open your chest. So take your arms out nice and wide. And if you can, take them behind your head. Take a nice big deep breath in. And out. And again. One more. Okay, we're going to move on to your legs then next. So you can pull out a chair for this bit. Okay, that's what we did before. We'll start off by taking the leg up onto the chair. You don't have to do this. You could just take a little step forward and lean down into the stretch. You could even, at this point, sit down into a nice chair, comfy chair, sofa, and pop your leg up onto, if you've got a small footstool, for example, um, anything like that. Anything that you can just raise your leg or straighten it, just so you can feel the back of your leg stretched out. I'm reaching towards my toes. You do not have to. All I do ask is you keep your leg as straight as you can and just lean into the stretch. I can feel that all the way down here now. Hopefully you can as well. Let's change legs. Okay, important to have your stretches. We've talked about that again at the first couple of sessions. It just re-lengthens those muscles. You need to stretch after every workout you do. You may still feel the odd aches from workouts. That's normal, completely normal. But if you do stretches, that will help. So it shouldn't be quite as painful. We don't want you to be in pain after a workout, not really. It's more of, yes, I've worked my muscles, but I can still carry on. What I would hate is if you overdid it, didn't stretch properly, and then the next day really struggled to move, let alone walk up and down stairs or get in that your car again. So please remember to always stretch after every workout. Okay, from there then, take your legs nice and wide, and all I want you to do is lean down towards your knees. The lower you can go, the better. So just hold them there. All I'm doing is resting now my, my elbows currently, all my hands, onto just the inside of my knee, just gently pushing them out. That's all I'm doing. So that nice wide leg starts. We're gonna now have a little stretch through the inner thighs. So your adductors are nicely stretching out with this one. Next up then, take a nice big step forward. The front leg is bent, the back leg is straight, and both feet are firmly on the floor. Looking straight ahead, keeping that body nice and straight. Okay, and upright. And again, just focus on your breathing. So that nice inhale and exhale. And change legs. So the other legs forward. Again, bending the front leg only. Back leg is nice and straight. With this exercise, with this stretch, so you should be able to feel the back, the lower part of the leg stretching, so your calf muscle. Okay, so the last one I'm going to do with you today. Just leave, leave your arms, just stand by your side. We're going to take a nice deep breath in again. As we do that, the arms are going to go up, and you're just going to drop them down on the exhale. So we go in, and down. In, make sure you really stretch all the way up, lift yourself up, and relax. Great, great job. So that was more advanced. You should feel that. Okay, I'm confirming that it is. We've done some new exercises again today. We've covered the whole body again, which is what I want to do every time. Um, and with that, you should definitely have your heart rate rising, lowering, a bit of a mixture, okay? That's gonna help with fat burning in itself. So make sure you have plenty of water now, make sure you have a little bit of a rest if you need to before carrying on, um, and just keep on with these workouts. I'm gonna keep saying that as much as I can, um, and hope that you will. So use workout one, 
We use the chair-based workout now if you want to try something different or if you're finding some exercise a bit too much on your feet. And obviously now this third workout, again, back to standing a little bit more advanced. If you found today quite tough, in some sense good, because that should make you want to do it again and again and again until you feel as though it's getting easier. With that, next week we'll have a new workout again, some new exercises come in, and again it will start to increase in intensity. However, that is on you. I'm going to do the best I can to keep giving you these exercises so I know that they can help you progress, but just do them at your own pace. Okay, so once again, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope the workouts are starting to help you. Keep sharing them as much as you can for me. I want to tackle obesity. I'm sure you do as well. So subscribe if you haven't already done so to my channel. Get, help me get my name out there as much as you can, please. So just keep sharing and keep watching. Thank you guys. Good luck.